Yeah, I just sat down at a coffee shop in uh, Shanghai. You know, the goal of me making those videos is really to be transparent as much as possible. Being able to bring information and the things that happen really. And transfer to you guys, because you have to know. My goal is to show you guys what really is the life of a trader and what really happens when you travel. So this morning I was trying to trade. I saw a video on my screen, the perfect setup. Really the perfect thing I could have traded in the Asian session. Really nice setup, but I missed it. And this is kind of frustrating for a trader. Something that happens sometimes. You kind of second guess yourself for some reason. Might not know why, but it happens sometimes. So I missed the setup this morning. I was just looking at it right now on my screen. It made like a five R pretty easily. So that would have been a good trade. I missed it. Uh, I'll have to just keep going and uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. So this is the trade I missed this morning. Sorry for the quality guys, but uh, this is all I have now to show you. And it's basically a bullish trend reversal trade. As I like to take them on the Asian session. So price break outside the Bunker band here. It's back within strongly. Then we have this down move after that. So really good trade this morning. Didn't take it. And I wanted to share this with you guys. the lake this is the type of stuff you don't see when you take just the metro and you just you instead of walk that's pretty cool so what do you do when you miss a trade what is the number one thing to do and I know a lot of you guys know what to do kind of you're gonna say I don't want to take those trades anymore I'm just gonna stop taking them starting tomorrow I won't take those trades that's kind of a solution but it's not the optimal way to do things whenever you miss a trade the first thing you should think about is putting that trade somewhere on paper Trying to have a way to make sure that next time you will review the trade and you will know really more not to take it. So the number one thing to do is to really write it down. Put it in your journal somewhere. Whenever I miss a trade, it's gonna be written in my journal. I have a kind of column with the missed trades. So I can review it afterward and I can know which mistake I make, which trade I tend to miss. That's really important. And then of course, don't be so disappointed. Don't be so hard on yourself for Missing a trade, it totally, ha it totally happens, it's fine. Just make sure you know the reason why you missed a trade. Is it because you lost the past couple of trades like I did? Or is it because you didn't feel super confident about the setup? Maybe you don't know whether the setup is good or not? Those are all reasons, but you want to know which one it is. So you want to try to fix it after that. Try to avoid it in the future as well. So that's how you learn from the trade you missed. I love to walk and go around the city until I find the next metro. Sometimes it takes a lot of time though. And now we've been walking for probably an hour or so without finding a metro. So we'll uh, hopefully find one pretty soon. There we go.